You can begin to speak in the language of the Holy Spirit. Before the throne is where we've come to offer praise and seek wisdom. Oh, you have torn the veil that separates no more outside. Now in your grace, everybody say. Before the throne is where we come is where we
What do you call him? I call him Yeshua. 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 Hamashia. Yeshua. Yeshua.
Listen to me. Listen to me. When you have entered into the inner of Olish, you don't speak the same language as the language of the world. You speak the language of the victory. Arakusi katelege de boshantolia. Ereke tetelege de boshantolia. They cannot understand because you are coming from another realm of glory. Arusi katela boshantolia. Zeke telege de boshata. We are dead can hear my language and they can rise up from their dead. Arusi kata. You don't have the language of the dead in the world. You have the language of the dead when Jesus entered into the grave and collected the key of life and death. He spoke and the dead come alive. Speak in the spirit right now. Speak in the spirit right now. The Bible speaking. First John chapter five verse four. He that is born of God overcomes the world. For this is the victory that overcomes the world, even my faith. I can no longer walk as a defeated. Listen to me. Hear me. If they tell you that you have win, that you won a lottery, and the news gets to you, you may wonder, is it true? You consider it before you believe it. Oh boy, no, they carry me play, I beg. Which kind lottery I win? I'm trying to paint a picture to you. But if by the time they hand you over the check, you still doubt it, are you sure this check is real? You take another step of faith. You walk into the bank. You present the check. They ask you who gave you. You just said, I've won the lottery. They say it is true. And they call you to the back of the counter. And they counter the money. And they hand it over to you. How do you think you will behave at that moment? 
you don't behave as an unbeliever and that's why the bible says we overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony because it has become a testimony in your hand listen to me people of God Jesus already went to the grave that has become our testimony because he has won the victory that has become our testimony because he has raised the dead that has become the victory the Bible says by his Christ I have already been made whole that has become the testimony the Bible says by his riches I'm no more poor, but I'm rich in Christ Jesus. That has become my testimony. For my victory is sure. If you have seen the victory of God, behave it right now. Behave it right now. Behave it right now. For I've been made in the image and the likeness of God. I speak the heavens language and the heads hear me. The Bible says, I will bind the thing on earth and it shall be bound in heaven. I will lose the thing on earth and it shall be lost in heaven. Begin to lose right now. Begin to lose right now. Begin to lose right now. Begin to bind. Everybody womb, begin to lose them right now. Every door that have been shot against you, begin to open them right now. Begin to open them right now. Every gate of hell against your destiny, begin to lose them right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I hear him say he's turning things around. I hear him say, I'm turning things around. Don't think how. For they got not the lamp by their own hands. I'm turning things around. I don't know that situation. They have given it a name, 
But God is turning things around. They have called that child a dog child, but he's turning things around. They have called that baby a sickler, but he's turning things around. They have called you unmarried. He's turning things around. They have called you barren. He's turning things around. Arekashata, Maposia, Ali Ketoba Shata, Matarosi Kata, the Lord that needs no man's help to do what he wants to do. A Prakush Kete, he called Father, and they shall be, and there was. Father, thank you. Olowogoboro is turning things around. Olowogoboro is turning things around for my good. Aramashe Katayaba. Oh my good, he's turning this around. Yes. Everything is on in the for me. Alla katayana masoko preke te yede de bosha. Let that be your song. Let that be your testimony tonight. He's turning this. Let me help you. You don't understand. I was telling some set of people yesterday. When you go to a court, you can go from high court and then you go to defend yourself in a big court if you are dissatisfied. From a big court, if you are dissatisfied, you go to the Supreme Court. And any verdict they give in Supreme Court stands forever. Even if they made that judgment in error, that judgment stands forever. But I have the God who is the Supreme. He sits as the Supreme. And that's why we call him Supremacy. God, when he makes a verdict in his Supreme Court, it is final. And no man on her can change it. He's the same God that said, He will turn this around for your sake with his hand. Father, thank you. We accept this verdict tonight. Because from this worship, Every judgment made from today shall be made to our favor. In the name of Jesus, every judgment made concerning you, Ali Kusi Prahikade, over any situation, that judgment is made in your favor. In the name of Jesus. Know it as you know yourself. That from today, no judgment go against you. Know it as you know your hand. That from today, no judgment is made against you. Lift up your hands and just appreciate them tonight. Father, thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you tonight. Thank you for our worship. We return praise and glory to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, He that is born of God overcame. He that is born of God overcomes the world. If you are not born of God, you cannot overcome. There are levels of victory that you can only walk in if you are born of God. If you have not been born again, I want to give you an opportunity tonight. I don't know where you are watching from all over the world. This is an opportunity for you to walk into your victory. We don't longer fight in battle because we are feared or because we are scared. We walk and fight. I mean, we walk and fight from the place of victory. 
Therefore, tonight, if you have not been giving your life to Christ in the past and you have been hearing, I'm giving you an opportunity tonight. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Put your hands on your chest and just say this simple prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. I'm a sinner. Lord, I recognize myself as a sinner. But I know you died on the cross for me. Therefore, I ask that you forgive me my sin. The blood that you shed on Calvary, let it cleanse me from my fitness. I accept you, Lord, today as my Lord and my personal Savior. Lord, write my name in the book of life. That I may walk in this victory that you have procured for me by your blood. Thank you, mighty God, for accepting me. Lord, I give you praise and glory. In the name of Jesus. I pray with you tonight and I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, for this one that your blood has procured, is there no one commit unto the Father except the one that you draw? Therefore, Lord, you have drawn this one to yourself tonight. I ask, oh God, that you seal them by your blood. They no longer go back to their vomit, but Lord Jesus, they have laid their hand on the plow. They will never go back again. Father, save them and let their name be written in the book of life. Preserve them, oh God, unto eternity. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's a brother there out there. Just last week, they gave you a sack letter. I don't know who you are. Last week, precisely Thursday, Thursday, Friday, you, got, you collected that letter. It's a sack letter. You never expected it in the beginning of the year. But God is saying to me tonight, that I should tell you is no longer an encouragement. But he has called you forth out of the midst of them. To make you sit with him in heavenly places. That he will make you to, over, I mean, to, to, to occupy a mountain. There is a mountain that the Lord wants you to occupy. Therefore I declare concerning you. That your feet shall be like an infant. And you will ride upon your high places. The same company. The same company will seek help from you. The same company. Write it down. Will seek help from you to survive. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. There's a woman there. There's a woman there. <laughs> right now, you are grieved in your spirit because you want to fight with your husband because he couldn't provide money for the children's school fees and they're about to write exams. And you are out there, you are grieved, you want to react. Something in you says you should react. Don't react. Allah will borrow us, turn things around. Joy will come in the morning. I say joy will come in the morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you made supplies. You even put money in the mouth of the fishes. Ah, kayana Let that provision be made right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. We give you praise tonight. We thank you for how you have helped us. Thank you for tonight's worship. Thank you for your mighty hand upon our lives. Thank you because we know we go forth from this place. Knowing that every verdict concerning us shall be to our favor. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We worship you. We worship you. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Jam your hands together. Jam your hands together. Jam your hands together. Jam it together as if you have won. Jam it together. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God tonight and also my precious daughter, precious king. You know, precious daughter, precious king. She's a precious daughter of the king. Oh my goodness. God bless you. Thank you tonight. Thank you for coming around. Thank you for blessing us. God bless you. The Lord will increase you. He will establish you. He will make your voice to be heard in the nations of the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I also want to thank God for my friend, my brother, my childhood friend, my covenant friend, Bishop and Priest. Thank you tonight. Thank you for coming to bless us. We really appreciate you coming. And all the pastors in the house, please let me celebrate them for all the pastors around. Thank you. Thank you for always making our time. And all the minister of the gospel that are in the house. I can see some people, Minister Gideon, God bless you. Um, and our wonderful brother. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for every one of you. I may not be able to mention all. 
and our precious brother as well, Rakilev, minister of God. God bless you. Thank you for coming around. The Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. Father, tonight we are grateful. You have helped us from this time. We know, oh God, you will help us through the year. In the name of Jesus, to you alone be all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. And so surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now that we have closed officially, I want to thank every one of you viewers. Thank you tonight for connecting with us. And also always at the first su Sunday of the month, you are always here to worship God with us. His voice of worship is a vow. And always come around to pay your vow to God. Offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving unto him. And I know as you have opened the year with this worship, everything that has stood before now as a barrier, they will give way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please always connect with us on our social media platforms, YouTube, Dadem Online TV, and on our Facebook, Dadem Multimedia International. Share the link and let the people worship. And I trust God of heaven as you share that so they will share your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give him praise. Celebrate him as we sign out tonight. Hallelujah.